Michael Moss, Hooked, Food, Free Will, and How the Food Giants Exploit Our Addictions. In the world of processed foods, there lies a hidden secret, addiction. They manipulate our brains, making us crave more and more of their products. The book Hooked, Food, Free Will, and How the Food Giants Exploit Our Addictions by Michael Moss offers an eye-opening insight into how and why we become addicted to sugar, salt, and fat. The summary delves into our evolutionary biology, the neurological pathways that keep us hooked, how our childhood memories impact our eating habits, and the tactics used by the processed food industry. Get ready to explore the fascinating psychology and science behind food addiction and how it affects our lives in countless ways. Appetite Control and Food Addiction Appetite is controlled by the brain, not the stomach, and food addiction stems from the speed at which substances affect the brain. For a long time, it was believed that our appetites were governed by our stomachs. However, recent research has shown that it is our brains that control our appetite, not our stomachs. Evidence for this is seen in bariatric surgery patients whose stomachs are reduced, yet their appetite returns within a year. This implies that appetite control is located in the brain. The return of appetite causes some patients to eat until their tiny stomachs become engorged or rupture. It highlights the fact that addiction is a brain condition, the quicker a substance can enter the bloodstream and reach the brain, the more addictive it is. Sugar, salt, and fat, the necessary components of processed foods, affect brain chemistry just half a second after consumption. In comparison, nicotine takes 10 seconds to impact the brain, showing how fast sugar works on our neurons. This revelation firmly supports the idea that food can indeed be addictive. Childhood eating habits affect adult life. Memories of eating processed foods in childhood make it easier for adults to crave and remember these foods. This is due to the creation of neural pathways in the brain that associate the experience with pleasure and comfort. The more one eats processed foods as a child, the stronger these pathways become, leading to an increased likelihood of craving these foods in the future. Therefore, it's crucial to establish healthy eating habits early on to prevent long-term negative effects. The Evolutionary Biology of Food Cravings The reason we find salty snacks, processed foods, and high-calorie meals so irresistible lies in our evolutionary biology. Our ancestors' ability to tolerate a variety of foods served them well, but today's dizzying range of options encourages overeating. Furthermore, our stomachs have evolved to recognize and enjoy high-calorie foods, signaling to our brains that these foods are good. This adaptation is still at work, explaining why we're drawn to foods like pizza and Oreos, purely because they're so dense in calories. The Exploitation of Convenience The processed food industry exploits our busy lifestyles and our evolutionary biology to sell us unhealthy, convenience foods. As women entered the workforce, families had less time to plan, shop, and cook for their meals. Thus, the food industry created pre-made, heavily salted and sugared products. They exploited our love for sugar by adding it to three-quarters of the products in the grocery store. They have even found a way to override our stop system in our brains, called the bliss point, to make us mindlessly eat more. Processed Food and Weight Gain In 2015, Michelle Obama called out the processed food industry for causing childhood obesity. The industry responded by cutting calories, but evidence shows the relationship between processed food and weight gain is complex. A 2019 study suggests that highly processed foods affect the digestive system's ability to calculate calories, leading to weight gain. Despite the industry's efforts to cut calories, their products may still cause weight gain. Michael Moss's Hooked sheds a light on the disturbing truth behind our addiction to processed foods. By exploring the science of sugar, salt, and fat, and understanding how our brains are wired to crave these addictive substances, we can begin to comprehend the impact of the processed food industry on our lives. 
The book also highlights the significance of childhood memories and eating habits, which continue to play a role in our food choices as adults. In recent years, efforts by the industry to reduce calories may not be enough to tackle the obesity crisis. Since our bodies struggle to calculate the caloric content in processed foods, by being aware of these addictive tactics employed by the food giants, we can work towards making healthier and better informed food choices in our everyday lives.